Hello and welcome back to Let's Try. We're trying Obsidian Prince. This game is uh, is gonna appeal to uh, a lot of my traditional roguelike fans. I think, I think, because it looks it looks pretty traditional roguelike. But we're gonna we're gonna get into it. Um, key provided by Dev. Thank you so much, Dev. Appreciate you, bud. Let's get into it. Roguelike mode tutorial. The portal. Click the portal to see if you can get to number one on the multiplayer leaderboards. Uh oh. Competition. This mode is about skill. You can unlock new classes, weapons, potions, and even prestige classes, which gives you more ways to play the game simply by playing. Challenge mode is always played on veteran difficulty. If you're going to go, if you're going in blind, prepare to die quickly. Don't worry. Once you'll get the hang of things, you'll pro progress far in no time. Believe in yourself. You can do it. So, uh, I mean, this game is cute as heck. I, I love this uh, like r colorful kind of voxel look we got going on here. So we can click on, oh, what? Current new record, w mini games. Mini games, is that is that what's happening here? Select your class. Well, we have a myriad of uh, options here. I think I'll go with the warrior class. We got, we got some cards deck building. Okay, I'm gonna assume that this deck is gonna work for us and then we have some insp uh, inspirations deck. Uh, equipping warrior glass eye. These are the things that we have, we have. These are the things that we have. All right, let's let's give it a go. Endless mode. Mysterious voice is calling to you from the portal. Enter hero, test your skills. Will you go further than the adventurers before you? All right, I guess I'm learning about kneecaps today. <laughs> what was that hint? Old maze of the final battle, did that say? Ooh. Uh, select three backstories. On multiple enemies take damage. If more than one enemy takes damage this turn, add some damage. Buff lasts until end of floor. Um, so we could take two of these. Sure, why not? We'll take two of those and then we'll take one of these energetics. So we're um, we're moving one space at a time. Um, and yes, we have our, our kind of a very familiar turn-based movement and combat going on here. Oh, except they this guy can do something. What can he do? Can I click on him to find out what he do? We'll move towards him. Oh, this guy can shoot me as well. He's got something going on. Uh, on base attack, plus one damage stacks. We want to get over to some of these enemies to um, try and hit them. Okay, so we're going to strike. These cards are applied passively by using the ability they belong to. So we did uh, we did a strike. We could do a bash, possibly. But these happen uh, passively. So we're just going to do a normal attack and then maybe we did a bash. Who could say, who could say that we did a bash or not? So what is this, bones, bones. These are bones, does nothing, may spawn skeleton. So we might wanna deal with that. Uh, on base attack, on kill, stacks, plus five damage, on kill, strike a nearby enemy. Okay, you got your standard cleave. I like, I like the cleave mechanic. It's one of my, one of my favorites. All right, we did it. I'm, I'm sure I did not do as well as I could have there. Being the only uh, yellow metal, it is therefore considered the cheese of metals. You can bite it, but you shouldn't eat it, which stinks, by the way. Scroll of Bean Kui. That's... <laughs> I 100% uh, said that intentionally. This will give you the backstory Queen Bee, ranged pet. On attack, 20% chance to immobilize targets. Sweet loot. So now we are given choices. Uh, knock, knock, who's there? Lettuce. Lettuce who? Let us kill you. Oh, <laughs> Use lockpick. 30% chance to destroy lockpick. Unlocks the door by picking the lock. Let's try it. All right, we went to the campsite. We can rest at the campsite. We can do some stuff here. We can eat. I didn't really eat anything here. Bamboo chakram. I haven't used this yet. We haven't done... We haven't really made much sense of any of this yet. Oh, belt equipping. So we can equip these, which I believe I already have, including our scroll of the queen bee. Ambush. Okay, we got ambush while we were resting at the uh, fireplace. Potent plus one or uh, plus one damage stacks on pick heal two Sure, we'll take that and plus three damage until your next turn. All right, we'll, we'll take momentum so we can wait. Oh, we can jump Charge these are these are quite interesting uh, moves. We have rapier energy cost two. click or press three to use so we have quite a bit of energy Why not? Let's jump Strike and take a step back. Oh, that, that's kind of interesting. Oh, we could use a chakram to throw your chakram at an enemy ca and catch it as it returns, bounces once. So maybe that would do damage to multiple enemies. Well, well let's, 
try that next. So we'll do, uh, we can't do a charge, unfortunately. Maybe I can make a charge happen. We need a specific range for the uh, chakram. I think that's doable now. Pop. Did it bounce? Did it bounce? All right, this is going a lot better. I think these um, happen throughout the whole, did I not, have I not used these cards? Is that, is that what's up? After standard move, plus three damage until your next turn. Okay, I'm assuming it means just moving once like this, not doing a jump or anything like that. Let's do, um, oh, on base attack, on kill, stacks. Okay, so maybe we could do a cleave here, but it didn't cleave the, bo uh, the, the other skeleton, it cleaved the bones. That's fine, we still won. We got some experience, level up. Whittle them down piece by piece. See each individual gem to find out which leveling this, okay. Uh, on base move attack, poison your enemy. Poison your enemy, okay. Add some chance for crit. If you have armor when attacked in melee, return three, six, nine damage. Energy, more energy for your turn. More health, more strength. I might go for more strength. We could add a charge. Uh, on damage taken, gain one energy. Oh, desperation. For every 50, 20, 30, 20% health missing, add one damage, fire. There's a lot of stuff going on here. Every time you take damage, regenerate some armor after three turns. That could be good. That could be really cool. Um, I'm gonna take strength. I'm gonna be very boring about it for, for now. Select the new inspiration card. Jump returns energy. Gain five armor for each enemy hit. Ooh, this could be good. Push all enemies around you away. And then you could do a chakram. That could be kind of fun. On Chakram use range plus one stacks. I like uh, I like some of the synergies that are, that are going on here. I kind of like this round round uh, strike use. Where are we going? Okay, we're we're going here. On charge use set charge path on fire. On round let's uh, get some um, round strike synergies going. Does do those stacks? I, I I didn't actually check. Yeah, round strike is free. Oh, they did some kind of ghostly. Uh, ranged ability. We do have some armor, so we're, we're okay for the time being. Let's do a charge. Oh, except, can we do that? Yeah, we do. We charge through the enemies. Okay, that was nice. And we could do a jump. If we could do, do like another charge, that'd be nice, actually. That'd be kind of perfect. Yeah, that was that was really good. We want to get rid of these bones in case they come, become uh, skeletons again. So it seems like every turn you get a different set of cards. You want to maybe plan around those so that you can do better. Like if you have a cleave, it would be a good time to, to do some attacks on, yeah, stun enemy. So um, on base attack, I don't I don't think a chakram counts as a base attack, but we'll do it anyway. Nice. You can only be, you know, you can only uh, synergize so much. Sometimes you just got to, you just got to throw out a, a good old chakram. So we have, yeah, okay, so the, this interface is making more sense to me now. Right there, oh, perfect. Yes, and then we'll do a roundhouse. Roundhouse, oh, that was so good. Oh, yeah. Oh, this is good. So what is this? Oh, I didn't mean to do that. I should have just like hovered over it. Oh, well, it's, it's another level, it's fine. So yeah, these apply every single turn. They're for the whole combat. These cards on the bottom, they're drawn every turn and they're going to affect your turn by turn basis um, kind of effects. And then you have some like extra moves and standard stuff. So this guy should be two range away, right? So if I do this, yeah, generate two energy. Oh, but they can actually reach me and they actually did some damage. So that was not a good move. Uh, so these guys can bring skeletons back. That's not good. Actually, I wonder if this counts as an enemy. Can we get some energy back? It, we will generate some energy by waiting near those bones. Why don't we go ahead and do that? If it becomes alive again, I can always um, dispense with it again. Yeah, that worked out pretty well, actually. This guy looks like he can summon enemies. Okay, we gotta go and deal with him. Can we charge through him now? Yes. Yes. Okay, well, we did it. Brad, the god of bread. The altar is simple. A table wrapped in cloth, a half-eaten meal can be found. You have 29 coins, so I can't offer uh, 50 coins for a good meal. I could sacrifice some health and get a random a fire appears. The floor is lava. Desecrate causes ambush, but I would get a roundabout on round round strike use. Move away after round striking. Um, I don't think I want to do any of these. 
I'm gonna play it safe. I'm sorry, I know that's that's not. Yeah, I should have mentioned this, but this game is actually in early access. You could have fooled me, honestly. Mystery room, you never know what might happen. Okay, let's check out the mystery room. Not a trap, oh my God. Grab the item, sweet. Let's do it. A Han pick, lose five energy, hopelessness. Okay, uh, remove a backstory card to balance the deck. Let's get rid of some potents. We don't really need some potents. Item acquired, ladybug, nice. Treasure room, get glawed. By attacking the treasure piles, don't be too slow. One pile disappears every other turn. Uh, you know something I really appreciate that uh, this game doesn't do is uh, chance to miss. It's something, um, I wouldn't say that it, it irks me or that um, I just kind of gotten tired of it. It seems to be in a, so many games, you know, traditional roguelikes as well. It, it's a it's a very pervasive mechanic that you have a chance to miss and I just, I don't like it. I'd rather do less damage or very low damage than no damage. What happens if I kill that? Anything good? Oh, I got the rest of the gold. I was wondering, I was wondering if maybe if I killed everything, if I would get all of the gold. So when I, okay, let's get some more um, fortification. I think that would be good. On jump, gain one to three armor. On jump, this is really tempting. On chakram use, the chakram bounces two additional times. Yes. Get the treasure. This is some classic video game good right here. Okay, so we have our chakram uh, Amazon. It bounces two additional times. It's not really gonna be good, but We'll definitely use it. I mean, it did actually bounce two additional times. Chest, we will use a key. Got some gold, got a barbed swept hilt rapier. Uh, 10 physical grapple, nice. It's got some extra stuff going on as well. Oh, I see it gives us a card. Add an attack and grab the enemy back with you. Stun enemy. Butter, boss, boss room, it's locked. Find the boss and key. Okay, so we need to find the key. Lot of stuff going on. Okay, so, oh, I see this is a card we have forever. Oh, I see it, it, it uh, selects itself. I need to chakram a bunch of stuff right now. Oh God, I have one health left. Come on, do, do right by me. Nope. No, we died actually. Well, I mean, I'm almost in the top 100. That's pretty good, right? Um, so as a, as a point of information, this game does have meta progression. If that's not your jam, then uh, now you know. On attack, generate three armor. Oh, this is, I'm sorry, this is too good to pass up. All right, let's do the mystery. Grab item, yes. Defensive leather, umbrella of sneezing. Do that, can we um, equip that? Oh, we can. Spore cloud, on umbrella use, spread nasty spores wherever the umbrella was opened. Sure, let's give it a go. We spread some nasty spores. On umbrella use, gain invulnerability. So this is, uh, this umbrella is really good. I, but I, I have a funny feeling it hurts me. It is. Oh, this guy can like throw down lightning. I say this as a, as a compliment, but the, the music kind of reminds me of RuneScape. Being ambushed, bashing does not break loot. Okay, good. We did get an ambush though. Again, I really appreciate that mechanic. I appreciate that it was not like, oh, you could break the loot and then feel bad. No, instead we get an ambush and we just get like more stuff to do, which I, 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 I'm, in, I'm enjoying this. Okay, we could move here. Oh, this guy's got range. Oh, that's a real problem. This guy jumped right into the poison. What a dang fool. Oh, there's the uh, key. It's quite a lot of enemies now. Uh, things are starting to heat up a bit. Get some more energy back because uh, these guys can't really do anything. This guy is going to hit us probably on the next turn. These guys are going to be tough. Oh, hateful blow. Let's do a chakram. This now is the perfect time, I think, for that for that armor back. Kill this guy. Oh, he's not dead still. Yeah, we're, we're doing pretty well now. We have enough recovery that we can like hit things and play a bit uh, aggressively. Let's uh, let's try the boss. All right, so we're fighting a boss. Oh, okay, we're fighting a boss and a bunch of his minions. Okay, this is basically uh, Crypt of the Necrodancer now. Attack of up, wow, I killed everyone. This will make us invulnerable, so let's use our umbrella. Ooh, 29 crit, wow. 
Yeah, I don't know. I'm going to use the Chakram. Just so we got our armor back. We could do a cleave. Yeah, this will this will this is a good cleave. We'll do wow, we did 19 damage. This should do it. There we did. We did it. Room complete. Toy cube. You can't not do anything with the toy cube. Nothing you can't think of. Infinite Alright, alright. I wonder if maybe we'll get a story or something uh when, when the game comes out. So I was totally wrong. There is in fact a campaign in this game. I missed it. There, there's a story. There's a whole bunch of stuff. Um, roguelike mode is the special new mode that they've uh, added. You can maybe forgive my thinking that that was the main mode because it was a big and shiny button and big and shiny buttons do something to my brain. That's why I don't play gotchas. The innkeeper wants you to train your new recruit. Go ahead and press the manage training button. All right. Click here to begin training. It's it me. Janitor of the Umbrella, it me, Zombie Slayer. Uh, on zombie death, when a zombie dies, gain one energy. On pick, on pick, heal eight. On pick, gain one forgotten potion. Okay, uh, click to select training, in. So this is happening now? Well done, we'll eventually need a, to build class training facilities as well. You'll want something more proficient at killing monsters in the barkeep, yeah? You should explore a bit. Uh, maybe find some building materials, talk to the guards. So yeah, there's like a whole city building element to this game. Grass building spot, so we can build all kinds of places, wow. I won't lie, I find this very entertaining. Oh, new record. Careful out there, bandits have been known to lay in ambush on the road. Okay, I'm not scared of bandits, there it is. Tiny a a bandit ambush. So I'm assuming this is gonna seem very much like the roguelike mode, but um, ooh, I mean, this this looks really cool actually. So I have to assume that the campaign mode, the, like, when we're dead, that's not the end. It might be the end of Bob the Adventurer, though. It seems like we can get other adventures. Maybe um, this turns the game into more of a kind of an XCOM, like, um, where you, you know, you, you, you take on missions. Maybe you can bite off a bit more than you can chew in a, in a you know, in a bad way. And, uh, and then you lose Bob the Adventurer for good. I don't know what I just picked up there, but I picked up something. Well, you got, you actually saved me a lot of moving right there, honestly. Ah, oh, I got a better chakram already. Nice. Still chakram. Ding. So do we get the, the wood that we need? Find some wood. Oh, wow. We've opened up a whole new area. Wow, the look of this game is really nice. Like, they, they've gone above and beyond with uh, with this campaign. This is, a, this is an unexpected treat because I thought roguelike mode was kind of it. Bandit camp. Okay, well, we'll take out the bandit camp. I'm, I'm assuming this is where we get the wood. So I'm just gonna do some violence. Oh, they summoned a bunch of rats. Uh, we'll do a roundhouse. This is perfect. And then kill. Nice. Oh, this is okay. So we've got a we've got a dungeon. This is a, a genuine dungeon. So the roguelike mode is basically the ex expansion of just like doing a small dungeon. So yeah, I mean, I'm I'm really happy to find this because I I think I've got enough roguelike in my life. It's really nice to honestly see something uh fleshed out to be like played through uh, something with with some some meat on it and not just relying on like procedural generation although i'm sure that this game is relying on procedural generation excuse me child you are resting on my keyboard there my cat is resting his paws on my keyboard and i'm worried it's gonna cause problems but it isn't so far and i don't want to move him so can we do a rape yeah we let's do a rapier attack i've never done a rapier attack and that'll get us out of range of this guy we actually got an achievement for that. This guy was able to attack. I kind of wish there was an icon above rangers that showed, like, told me that they were going to do a ranged attack. Um, maybe we can make an archery range now. Find some stones to build a training facility. We've got another challenge over here. I'm going to do this, and then I'm going to call it for this video. I've, I've actually already played about two hours of this game. I, I think if I was going to choose between playing this or playing roguelike mode, I'd actually play this because I like that long form progression and like I say, I've got enough roguelike in my life. You know what I would request? If I like held down alt, it would show me the attack paths of all of the enemies, like where they're about to attack or something like that. I know that showing this on the field all the time would be um, a bit too much, but if I could control being able to see it, then that would be really good because then I could better plan my, uh, my moves. You've earned enough materials to build your first building. Click on a building plot to find out what you can build. So we can build barracks, turn your trainees into unstoppable warriors and have them rampage across the land or an archery range. 
Oh yeah, let's do an archery range. I want to see some, uh, maybe a character outside of the warrior. It'll take them another three days to complete their training. Don't worry about training them wrong. You can always uh, just recruit another. Okay. Uh, okay, yeah, if we take me, if we talk to this guy, maybe we can um, open up the map a bit more. No, I want to, I want to open up the map. Oh, I see it costs money. You can afford this. Sure, let's use gold. So you use uh, some resources to open up the map in uh, the other directions, and that way maybe we can get some, we we can build more buildings. To prove yourself worthy of the Guildmaster title, you'll need to get me three tokens that I've sneakily placed in three dungeons close by. I do wonder, um, are maybe some of these quests generated? All right, so um, although this was a very short look at the actual campaign mode, I think that's going to do it because we have seen um kind of what the what the combat looks like and i think that the campaign is just going to be a different way of getting more combat you know we have some different choices about how we progress which is really cool um i actually really like this and this would be my my preferred way of playing this game but in terms of the combat we've got a really interesting mix of tactics and deck building for each hero as well as uh, item and uh, like equipment discovery. Looks like in the campaign, we've got some exploration involved as well. And maybe we'll get some quests and we can pick and choose our challenges as well as how we adapt to them by uh, picking heroes and how we train them. So there's a lot going on in this game. There's a lot um, and a lot of player agency too and how you develop your, your heroes, how you develop your town, how you uh, progress through the campaign. So this was Obsidian Prince. Um, I think this is a really cool game and I'm looking forward to seeing what they do or add to it. Um, if you did enjoy this video, definitely hit that like button and consider subscribing for more content like this and I'll see you guys next time. Take it easy.